Hello, it's uh, me again. As if it was going to be anybody else. Um, right, I've had um, somebody comment and ask if it was possible to uh, modify my um, CSV to Word um, template uh, program to be able to produce multiple Word documents featuring um, multiple graphs and bar charts and tables. Um, so I started looking at this and I looked at my old template which huh, as you can see here I put in the pairs of um, curly braces and I adjusted my CSV file to hopefully populate the graph with some with the values which would produce the bars however um, I thought it might just have been an issue with um, open office but it, it appears just to be a general docx issue um, so when you put it in the values uh, where are we The values, the values won't get picked up from the CSV. Um, the country and the chart title were being picked up, but the um, the data for the axis weren't. Anyway, you have to take my word for that. Investigate it yourself, or maybe if you know a solution, then um, that'd be great to hear. But, however, next. Um, my next thought was okay so let's insert images dynamically into the template so that brought me back to um, I think it's called Eric he's from, he's from Paris I believe uh, yeah Eric Lapouillade um, so I used uh, his code previously to generate the multiple word documents based use uh, using data from one CSV file so one word document per row in the CSV file um, anyway what I want to do here is create multiple word documents with multiple images um, yeah we won't look at that anymore what we will look at is what I've done so what I'm going to do is I'll show you because that's what you want to see <laughs> and uh, once we've looked at it I'll just run through the code and describe what I'm going to do next and just um, highlight a few a few things to consider if you want to run this code and I'll put it up on github in, in due course very shortly so what we're doing is let me just show you the the folders. Uh, what a mess! Um, home, right? Pydoc. So here we go. Um, there's some. I uh, create a virtual environment. You don't have to do that. So to do this project, I've created to sort of mirror the structure that uh, Eric used I've created a templates folder and I've kept the template file name the same and the template file has a default image so you must have a default image in the template file let's open that up I'll show you so the, this is the template which the Python code will uh, and um, Eric's module will adjust. So start with this and we have an images folder and I have five random, not semi-random, P 
PNG file. So you can use PNG or JPEG. Just uh, watch out if the file extensions are case sensitive. Okay, so we have one template file, five images. We could have a hundred images, it would still work. It, it, it's, there's a for loop that goes through, count, uh, through, through each image iterates once per image. So let's look at the code. I will show you just quickly, which we'll is a brief look and then we'll run it. So uh, it's using, you have to do pip install to get docx tpl, import os. I imported os just so I could do a directory listing to list all the images in the images directory. Um, and then I'm dynamically creating the file name based on the image. So if the image is called um, my pet cat, then the docx file will be called my pet cat docx. Um, I'm just splitting and stripping off the file extension there because you wouldn't want it to be called my pet cat dot png dot docx. That would be stupid and it wouldn't work. Um, old image. Um, Eric's code was, there was no sort of notes on what the source and destination images were so um, the old image lives in the same level as the template docx file the new images if you put the new images inside the templates folder inside the images folder and then it will work so yeah let's go exit um, did I clear out the output folder no I didn't so just to show you it works I will uh, that's, hmm. oh that's my old word ignore that right so templates output those are the two folders you need output can be empty and here we go so template default image and all the new images let's go sudo python3 pi doc underscore image dot pi I will put a, <laughs> that was really quick I will put a progress bar or something there um, and some output to the user if we go and output and there we go so just um, Let's get some details so you can see they were made <laughs> a few seconds ago um, we've got five word documents because we had five images and if you remember the template had a red and a green apple so now we've got various different word documents with different images in because that's what was in the so open office is uh, there we go so uh, it's called it um, replace picture RG logo uh, I just need to amend that so let's close all of these we don't want to look at those anymore. Let's just go back in and fix that while we're watching. I need to... Ah, uh, yeah. I don't really need replace picture there, do I? Um, uh, let's just call it... Uh, any ideas? What should we call it? You, you don't really care, do you? Um, auto. Yeah, let's just I'll keep it lowercase. We call it auto, it means it's made automatically. Let's just run that again. Um, clear, clear these out. Nothing wrong with that, it just looks a bit amateur shall we say okay so sudo python 
three by doc underscore image py and that was bloody quick wasn't it so yeah auto this means it's automatically generated and then underscore and then the image name and then it's called docx i think uh you've, you've probably got the idea by now haven't you yeah okay um the next part of this project so this is um part one um part two <laughs> part two will be to um create I think I'm going to use matplotlib and I'm going to create um, I'll probably go back to my CSV with 10 rows and for each row I will make a graph and then those graphs will be put into the images folder and then when I run this this will insert those graphs into the word document so from a CSV with some data we will end up with 10 word documents with 10 unique graphs and those graphs are going to be specific to the data in each row of the source CSV file so um, you get the idea hopefully if not leave a comment and I can explain um, so really it's um, yeah a little bit of uh, addition and modification to this so this is available on github and if you want to pick up from where I've left off or do something different with it let's see um, tests I thought it was tests ah uh, yeah yeah so if you look at inline image no not inline it, 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 not inline image where was the other one um, dynamic table no uh, I can't remember what one I started with actually I did have a look at, uh, that was to make a table I might go on to that one next um, template uh, replace picture there we go so I've based my I start <laughs> this is what I've not plagiarized this is what I've taken and modified and uh, this is really um, import this set your destination specify the path of your current template you can make your current template in word word or LibreOffice and um, these are the lines that do the work really replace context you need that template replace the picture so that is uh, which way round is it that took me a few minutes to actually get that the right way around um, yeah old image name first so that's the old image or the, the the image that's currently living in the template and that will be your new image so what I've done really is I've taken this code and I've put it inside a for loop and I've done a I've listed the files in the images folder and I've used those image names to be the new file names you, you're probably thinking use a class and make do it all properly I will I will I will I will just I want to get the images from uh, matplotlib next so yeah signing out catch you soon with the next installment thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe oh, bye.